So reptile What's humans. Are, are we re animals? Are we animals? Because we're humans. Mammal. Exactly. It's a mammal. It's not an animal. Which hey, Peyton. You seem like a very nice guy, albeit extremely fucking ignorant and stupid. Fuck no. But yeah, you seem like a very nice guy. So over the statement you made, being that humans aren't animals, is... Well, honestly, as ridiculous as your claim that fishes aren't animals. Hell, the entire video you made about the animal kingdom in that podcast was another piss take. So, in short answer, yes, humans are animals. Yes, mammals are animals. Confused? Let me elaborate. Humans belong to a subtribe of hominid apes known as Australopithecine. Quite frankly, there's another name for them, but because Australopithecine sounds phonetically pleasing, I'll be using that term throughout the video. Anyways, Australopithecines are a group of African apes, which also includes gorillas, chimps, and bonobos. We fall under the greater primate family, which also includes a lot of monkeys and, in fact, lemurs. Yes, lemurs are primates. Going even further back, the entire mammalia group of animals actually descended from an ancient group of animals known as synapsids. Being the last known member, surprisingly, were therapsids. So, yeah, that's part of our family tree. And if you go even further back, you'll reach amniotes, which surprisingly means that we are more in common with reptiles. Considering reptiles actually belong to a sister taxa known as sauropsids, which will later be known as diapsids, which includes a lot of um, reptiles we know and love, such as archosaurs, which birds are a part of, and Squamates, which includes snakes, monitor lizards, and lizards in general. Basically, um, yeah, you can say that reptiles and mammals are brothers. But if we go back even further, if we go past that point of divergence, us amniotes would fall under reptiliomorpha. Go even further back, you'll later find out why amphibians actually are a part of our family tree in terms of evolution and phylogenetics. Go even further back than that, you'll reach the more ancient group of tetrapods, which will later lead to ichthyostega and tiktalic. And go even further back than that, you'll reach the point in time where we would all be considered fish. So yeah, this entire video, this entire point of explanation was leading, was leading up to the point where I can fully validate that fishes are animals, which basically means your entire video on fish being not animals is extremely paraphyletic, which also means you saying that us humans are not animals are in turn paraphyletic. It's honestly extremely complicated, but honestly, um, I'm sure you're too simple to wrap it around your head considering... There's a lot of stuff in a lot of episodes of your podcast, which makes me question your intelligence. But hey, before YouTube grills me, I just want to say the only reason why I make these videos is because I'm very passionate about the natural world. I'm passionate about paleontology and phylogenetics, and I just hate to see somebody butcher this field to the point where I I'm starting to think he's serious. I'm starting to think he's actually legit. If he is in some way satire, then fuck me dead. You baited me pretty easily, but still. Holy balls. The, the videos he makes really makes me question the validity of his intelligence. And honestly, making these debunk videos is a assault to my brain cells, if anything. Because I, I just can't believe people like this actually exist. You just gotta know, debunking does not mean cyberbullying, okay? I, completely far from it. But honestly, one of these days if I meet someone who is even more stupid than this guy, yeah, I'm probably gonna be sent to the ER, I'm probably gonna get hospitalized because there's only a limited amount of stupid I can take before completely folding.